Hello and welcome to Emma Reads Reddit. Today I'm reading from r slash ask reddit. But first, let's play r slash drunk or a kid. Inspired by how I met your mother, I give you a real life scenario and you guess whether it was a drunk or a kid. This one was posted by Framing Hips. I was trying to get the last of the spicy natural Dorito crumbs out of the bag, tapping the bottom when all the crumbs fell into my eyes. Ouch. What do we think? Was this a drunk or a kid? Find out at the end of the video. Now back to r slash ask reddit, where random Joe Schmo and Quad Kaboom posted this, eight months apart. What is the greatest comeback to an insult you've ever heard? My best friend, after an argument with some kid from our school in a shop, we began walking away down the street. Kid, where are you going pussy? Friend, your mom's house. Kid, my mom lives the other way. Idiot. Friend. Nah, I meant your real mom. Friend in high school on our way to track meet. He was staring at a car in the parking lot that was really nice when this D-bag saw him. D-bag. Why bother looking at that when you know you'll never be able to get one? My friend. The same reason you watch porn. The entire bus erupted and it's still one of the funniest things I've ever heard. English class in middle school. Kid A. Yo, Kid B, your mama waited on me at McDonald's last night. Must feel like shit having a mom that works at McDonald's. Kid B, at least my mom gets out of bed to go to work. English teacher far louder than he realised. Damn. The rest of us were laughing so hard the teacher next door popped her head in to see what was going on. Context. John Oliver from HBO interviews Stephen Hawking. There could be an infinite number of parallel universes. Does that mean that there is a universe out there where I am smarter than you? Yes, and also a universe where you're funny. My grandma got into a fight at the grocery store with a guy who told my nine-year-old brother to move the fuck out of the way. They were going at it, and his final words were, Suck my dick, bitch, she said across the store. If I could find it, bitch. My grandparents used to bicker. My grandmother generally came out on top, but she was fierier. One time, though, she was asking him to do a bunch of stuff, and he muttered, if you lose some weight, you could do it yourself. She fixed her gaze on him and glowered, I'm thinking of getting rid of about £200 of useless fat immediately. He replied, you're going to cut off your foot? On a construction site one afternoon, different trades were working in the same area. Like silly team sports, the Sparkies always hang with the Sparkies, and the Turd Wranglers always hang with the Turd Wranglers, and any time they're together, it turns into a pointless dick measuring contest. Usually, not literally. One particularly childish exchange saw two men chopping back and forth. My dick biggest blah blah blah. Finally, one of them spits out this classic. I've got girth like a can of corn. And the clap back was unforgettable. But you've got the length like a can of tuna. Everyone busted up. Mr. Girth tried to hide his embarrassment, but was tied up, no comeback, and a room of men laughing uncontrollably. Good times. Lol, my mom was a librarian and pulled this one on a rude patron. Are you getting smart with me? Would you be able to tell? Here's my favourite self-burn. In high school math class, a nice nerdy guy named Richard, a jerk whose name I forget, let's call him Jerk. Jerk keeps calling Richard Dick. Like, hey Dick, did you get the answer to number four? Richard keeps calmly saying, it's Richard. Finally, the teacher says, Richard, what do you prefer to be called? Richard says, I prefer Richard. Jerk says, well, I prefer Dick. After a few seconds of uproarious laughter from the rest of the class, Jerk realised what he said and sunk as far down in his seat as possible and never bugged Richard again. We were teenagers in the 80s, so this was the height of hilarity. The best comeback I've ever heard was, you are the human equivalent of a participation award. My sister, when she was 13, maybe 12, she was fighting with my little brother, three years older than her, and he was being aggressive and mean, and she clearly yells, I'd call you a dick, but you're so fake, you're a dildo. My mom and I were in the kitchen, and my mom yells at her, 
Go to your room. My sister goes upstairs and my mom has tears in her eyes, choking back laughter. Where did she learn that? I told everyone I knew at the time. I called it the sickest burn of all time. It's still so beautiful. One from me. A kid in class was being quite homophobic about another boy who just came out, back to the wall and such. I sighed and said, John, none of the girls in class fancy you. Why would the boys? Today in one of my classes we were working on a project about careers and one of the kids shouted, I want to be a male stripper. The teacher responded, I think you might be missing some of the qualifications for that job. I was in a Yahoo chat room, yes, I am old, and I was like 15 years old. Some guy I'd been talking to for a while, and whom I had told I was 15, sent me a dick pic out of nowhere. He asked me what I thought about it. I told him my mum always told me good things come in small packages. He was not impressed. When I was in middle school many years ago, a bully was teasing an awkward kid about not being able to get girls and being gay and never being able to get laid. Another bully spoke up to the first bully and said, Bitch, you ain't had pussy since pussy had you. And the entire class and the teacher started laughing. The original bully shut up. Just out of curiosity as to how good this actually was, for years I was told that my sort of comeback was the best thing that anybody had ever heard. Mostly because I was the quiet kid that nobody could get a rise out of. Naturally, because they couldn't get a rise of me, everyone tried to get me flustered by insulting me or framing me for things that no teacher ever believed because it was never the quiet kid. Essentially, I walked into class one day and the teacher wasn't there, but this one girl, S, was up at the whiteboard writing out a long-running joke about our teacher that pissed him off. It was about his assigned teacher number and two years of developing a joke is a bit hard to explain. It became a bit of an inside joke. Either way, I sat down. Either way, I sat down, she finished and the teacher came in, noticing what was written on the board. He asked who did it and immediately this girl and a few of the girls around her said, Sabaren did it! No, we were all about 15 at the time, so they should have been beyond this. I don't know what it was, but something made me wordlessly walk up to the board, fix her spelling and punctuation errors, and then sit down. Only when I had sat down did I turn to the girl who'd done it to say, I have standards. The class collectively lost their shit, including the girls who hadn't seen it coming, and the teacher laughed so hard, he went red in the face and cried. To me, it seems like they just find it so funny because it was me, because I don't see anything particularly special or savage about it. Teacher asks a tough question. Jimmy says the correct answer. Karen, lol, you're such a nerd. Teacher, be nice to him, Karen. He could be your boss someday. Jimmy, it's okay, teacher. I have no interest of being a pimp anyway. Whole class losing their minds. What's the best comeback you've ever heard? Now back to r slash drunk or a kid. So who was the person with crumbs in their eyes? It was... A drunk. 27 years old. Did you guess right? I went with kids, so another one wrong for me. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed what you've heard, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of the daily content from Emma Reads Reddit. See you tomorrow.